Hey everyone, this is Kiki Ayers with the Red Carpet Report and right now we're here in Hollywood at the Ginkgo Impact Africa Gala. So I know um, I talked to you at the Unstoppable yeah. Foundation and you're also here. Why is it important for you especially to get involved in all these foundations and charities? Well, um, I really think it's important for me to get involved in things that have to do with Africa just because of my, my heritage, um, being African American. Um, a lot of my history goes back there, and then there's a lot of people over there that just uh, are really struggling. You know, you we have a lot of people that are, are struggling here in this country, and I try and help as much as I possibly can. But I also am aware of things going on in other countries around the world. So, uh, when I was first approached by the uh, Jinko Foundation, I really loved what they were doing over there, and I wanted to get involved. Now I know the uh, football season just started, but um, is there a specific team you're going for? I'm a Seattle Seahawks fan, <laughs> and uh, I, I've been working for them now for the last 11 years doing their broadcast, so uh, I'm pretty much uh, entrenched in, in what they're doing, and I played for the Seahawks for a couple of years of my career, so I have a lot of special um, feelings about that organization, and I went to school at the University of Washington in Seattle, so all of my ties are kind of up there besides of my, my upbringing here in Los Angeles. And we don't have a team here anymore, so I got to root for right, somebody. Right. <laughs> now they're kind of off to a slow start this year. How do you think they can get back on track? I think they're going to get turned around. You know, they just uh, have lost a couple of close games to some really good teams on the road. They just need to get back home, get some home cooking, get some of that uh, hometown inspiration and, and energy that they get from their fans, and and just get things turned around in the right direction. They're not that far off. Now, did you hear Viola Davis's speech last night? I did not. I heard parts of it just on, uh, like on CNN and, that, and things like that. But I was really, really happy for her because she's one of the great actresses of our time right now, and she's finally being recognized for that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Okay. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more of our videos and leave a comment in the section below, letting us know what your favorite charity is.